Hello and welcome to this new tutorial on EMGU CV. Today I'm going to show you how we can perform connected component labeling on a binary image in EMGU CV. To get the connected components, I'll be using this function connected components. I will also show you how we can segment individual objects on mouse click. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new project. I have already configured uh, this solution to use EMGU CV 3.4. If you don't know how to do that, you can check my previous videos. Right click on the project, go to aid and select the Windows Forms. I just call it CC Form CC and then click 8. In this form, I need uh, two things. The first thing is to a picture box that to show the input image. And uh, I also need another picture box to show the output image. So let me drag and drop two picture boxes. And uh, let me drag and drop a button. Here just, just I can use this button for open the image, I call it open. And uh, let me copy and paste it, control C, control V, and just give it a name process. This button I am using for opening an image in a display in this picture box, and then this one will find my uh, connected component. So let me go and click, double click on this open. The first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we are using EMGU CV. So using EMGU.CV and again EMGU.CV dot structures which basically defines the basic uh, templates for creating my objects i will define a, an object variable to hold my image so i just reference variable i just call it btr and in bytes i call it img input and uh, I also want to store the connected component labeling image here so that one necessarily will be a gray image so I just say gray and the depth in bytes and I just name it like CC connected components <clears throat> so first let me open a file to display that is an image file so I will be using uh, open file dialog open file dialog i call it dialog and create the object of this open file dialog okay and then i need to uh, show this dialog to the user using this show dialog and if user selects this uh, an image then this dialog will return me a uh, dialog result dot okay that this makes sure that the user has selected an image. And then I can show this image, uh, I can read the image into my IMG input using its constructor. In the constructor, I just pass the name of the file, then it will read it and assign it to my IMG input object. And then I can show it in picture box one dot image equals to ing input dot. Since the image do not understand ing input directly, so we use the bitmap to convert it into a bitmap and then display it in the picture box. So now uh, let's click on double click on this process button. So this method will apply the connected components and display the results in our picture box too. The first thing that I need to make sure is my input image is not null. So if input uh, equals equals null, then just say return. And also it is uh, important to, it is a good practice to apply try catch 
and just I name it like ee and a message box we can show it ee dot message the first thing that we need to do is to convert this uh, input image in RGB into a binary image so let me do that I create a variable variable temp and img input dot convert let me convert it into a gray image first and then apply thresholding binary threshold binary and this requires the threshold value that I said new gray and let's say that if it is greater than 100 then replace it maybe I will continue in next line new gray to 55 and if it is less than that then replace it with zero okay and let me first see the output in the picture box too. What is this? IMG equals to temp dot bitmap. Just I want to see if everything is okay. So let's run it and check. Start. Uh, let's first open an image. Click on open. And as an example, I'll consider this coins image. Okay and i want to process this okay but as you can see here um, the coin this coin there are some holes inside it um, maybe i can use dilation and uh, erosion to make it a complete white so let me do that first it doesn't matter but uh, still I just want to make sure so if I use a dilation one time followed by an erosion to bring it back into its original uh, size maybe it aids the borders so uh, I hope that this one will fill the gaps those are very small gaps and then I erode it back to uh, hope it get back into the original size so let me check it again if it works fine then we can proceed open in the coins in the process oh perfect so this gap has been filled okay so that's why i just added this uh, dilate and and then bring it back this will necessarily add one pixel borders along uh, around each object as well and this one will help to remove that again to bring it back into its original size so thank you picture box and i don't need you at the moment so the next thing that I need to do is uh, since my connected components method requires one input image and one output array as well. So let me create that in uh, a mate and I call it IMG label equals to new mate object. I created the object for mate and now I call it CV invoke dot connected components and this one is requiring me one input image i just prepared a binary image that is 10 and i want to store the output in my image label and if the connectivity is 8 connectivity that is default set i don't want to change it and also its depth i don't care about it it is by default 32 s so it's okay and one more thing that this one returns me an integer as you can see so the number of connected components so we can say n labels labels number of labels so that is set and uh, since i created in cc of type gray maybe i can convert this mate into my cc let's see how can we do that i just say cc equals to out uh, IMG label dot actually it is not a label it is a um, actually it is not an image it is a mate which we want to, I want to convert it into an image so what type of image I want that is gray and of depth bytes that's it okay and then I can use this method this is 
sorry, picture box to display my result over here. So what next I want to do? Okay, let me see if everything is okay so far. So open it and then display it. Thank you and I process it. Okay, now what I want to do if I click on individual uh, objects, I just want to say, uh, show that object. What actually the uh, concept or technique behind this one will be since each object uh, has a unique ID. That is all the pixel belonging to, for example, this coin will have one number associated uh, with it in the CC image. So I will be using the mouse location to get that number and select the, all the pixels from the image having that label so that I will get only this uh, object. And also I can do the same for others, for example. I get the value of the label on my mouse click and then get all those pixels with the same value and then display them. Remember that the connected components also returns the background label as well and its background label is zero. So we don't need to process on when the value of the label is zero, that is background. So we need to process on more than zero, that is one, two, three, whatever, okay? So ideally, if one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, there are ten objects. So my connected component labeling method should return eleven because ten are my objects and eleventh label or the first label is for the background. So there will be total eleven, but uh, the, there are ten objects. So I will start from one to ten. So let's see that. So I need to use the uh, picture box click event to find the click event of my mouse, the location of my mouse. So I will go to the events and then there is a, it's not the, this is the just click and I need to handle the mouse click event. So double click on this mouse click event and inside this my mouse click event, I will write the code to deal with that. The first thing uh, I need to make sure that I have CC that is connected component has been already obtained. If it is null, I cannot do it anything. Okay, so I return, write the return and the try cage. In the exception, I am writing EE because as in this method, there is another argument, mouse event E. That's why if you write the E, it will give you some error that it has been, the same thing has been already declared. So maybe we can write a message box and then press on tape, ee.message. We can show what the exception is. And here, the first thing that I need to, uh, get is the value of the connected components at location uh, mouse click location so uh, let me do that i will get a grave value equals to or even i don't need this i guess so from connected components i just want to obtain e dot y comma e dot x uh, dot what I want to get its intensity since it is a double I just want to convert this one into an integer so I should create an integer label is equal to int I will convert it into this uh, int since you know the x-axis for the image is towards and downwards uh, while for the y is on horizontally but the mouse or the display considers horizontally the x-axis and it downwards y-axis that's why i just used e dot y into e dot x so this one will give me the value the intensity or the value of the label at the, the click location from the connected components image and i assign it to the label variable. Now I will make sure that is if this label is not equal to zero, that is it is not a background, it is rather uh, my 
labeled object so what i will do create another image called temp and then i will apply this function in range in range we need to provide two ranges two values gray values it is searching for all the pixels between a low value and up, upper value including both of them so what i need to do i need to give new gray label okay i want this label value and i also want this gray label what it does essentially if my label is one it is since between one and one that is it is exactly looking for all the pixels with the label value one and if it is two it is looking for the so, uh, between two and two it means it is exactly looking for the values of two so once we have this image it will return us the binary mask and uh, then we can show that binary mask in our picture box too so i will say picture box to dot image equals to tm dot with me so let's see the results run it and open the same image coins and then process it and let me click on this one so that it displayed only that object so i get another object this one so that is what how we use the connected but when i click on the background it will do nothing because we have already uh, put this condition that if we select if we the label is zero it is already known that it is background if you want to check that what will happen if if i say if it is greater than or equal to zero and if i include the background as well so it will also give us the connected components of the background with the value zero as well so when you process it when i click on it okay now you can see that the it also extracted the background and usually we don't need it that's why i said if it if it is uh, not equal to zero so i don't need the background element i hope you understand the connected components labeling in mgu cv hope to see you in another video